When Saints fans gathered at Tracy's original Irish Channel bar for last week's Monday night football game, Tracy celebrated the scene on social media. That drew immediate blowback from politicians. I did see the social media videos. They were sent to me today, and I can tell you that I am very concerned by what I saw. Mayor Latoya Cantrell even tweeted about it when the city shut Tracy's down September 23rd for violating social distancing guidelines. But bar owner Jeff Carrera said there were no violations. He said the bar in the video was actually an island used for restaurant seating. The tables were all six feet apart and people wore masks when they weren't at their tables. You can also see in this video from game day that Tracy's had a reservation book as required by the city's guidelines. And again, I just, I don't know why they're targeting me, why they're trying to hammer me, I have no idea. And now, thanks to a WWL-TV public records request, we have evidence that Tracy's was indeed treated differently than other places. These emails show that Code Enforcement Director Winston Reed received seven other complaints last week against places like Carre in the French Quarter, Circle Food Store in the Seventh Ward, and Anytime Fitness in West End. In every case, Reed wrote that he would have his staff inspect the location. Only Carre was eventually shut down after Reed said his staff would, quote, put him on notice and inform him that further complaints will result in a shutdown. By contrast, the emails show complaints about Tracy's came in on Tuesday morning and Reed emailed Safety and Permits Director Tammy Jackson and Chief Zoning Official Ashley Becknell shortly after noon. Quote, don't forget about the cease and desist order for Tracy's today. I have to provide confirmation today. Becknell asked what the letter should say and Reed responded, quote, get with Tammy. I am sure that you guys can review the video and write it up. Please get with Tammy and she will tell you why we must issue it today. Amazing, and I think I'm just being targeted, obviously, by uh, Mayor Cantrell or the city of New Orleans, and it's just not right. Carreras thinks the targeting began back in March when Cantrell tweeted about a crowd that had gathered outside Tracy's for St. Patrick's Day, right after the city ordered a shutdown. Why would she not talk about these other places that are on this list? Not, she's not tweeting about that, she's just tweeting about Tracy's, and I'm catching all the flack. Tracy's was allowed to reopen Friday. That same day, the city sent them this notice telling them that their operations and finances were being audited. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now we asked the city why Tracy's was handled differently. Spokesman Bo Tidwell sent a response that didn't answer that question, but he did double down on the city's position that Tracy's was operating unsafely during the Saints game.